מי שנדבה רוחו לשוב בתשובה. A person that his soul was generous enough to make him aware that he has to become a Baal Tshuva, that he needs to repent, he needs to change his ways. Shmirat Shabbat Tzricha Elav Biyoter. He must keep Shabbat very carefully. Ki hine bechatato nistalka akdusha shebo, because of the avarot you do. The more avarot you do, the Kedusha, holiness, comes out out of you, slowly, slowly. There's, there's no room for both the men. P1 equals P2. You push this one down, this goes up. You want this, this, this goes up. Mashiv Aruach, Umorid Ageshem. He brings the Gashmiyut. Mashiv Aruach, he brings us back to spirituality. Umorid Agashmiyut. Materialism goes down. We say it regarding Tefillah. But the remedy is for that as well. So when a person does an Avera, his spirituality, his Kedusha, his holiness, goes down. So therefore, when he goes down, there's no such thing as vacuum. The Sitra Achara, the Yetzer Ara, the, the evil inclination, fills up the gap. Ve'akatirgorim, those persecutors, shenivrou bechatato, that were created as a result of his Averot. Emchonim saviv saviv lo. They are, uh, they're putting a siege around him. They're just waiting right there, ambushing him. Vashomer Shabbat, if a person keeps Shabbat, it is like he kept the whole entire Torah. Vayavo sanigurim vitchu. At Malachi Achabala, so therefore the the defender, uh, you know, uh, lawyers will come in, and they're going to push them away by doing Shmirat Shabbat. I'm doing Shabbat. It's like I keep the whole entire Torah. By doing so, I'm creating a spiritual uh, attribute around me of many good uh, Malachim that would speak on my behalf, and that will push this away. Since you are mit kadesh be Shabbat, you are sanctifying yourself with Shabbat. Therefore, you're becoming slowly, slowly holier again. But it's a tremendous thing. And when a person is about tshuva, when a person makes tshuva, nimshach alav be Shabbat nitzotz me'ashchina. There is a heavenly spark that he gets on Shabbat, and that pushes away the sitra chara. That little light comes and pushes the darkness of the of the yetzerah, of the evil inclination, the tumah, the impurity out of you. Venimzaki bishmirat Shabbat, and by doing so, the result will be that by keeping Shabbat, you are fixing both your body and your soul. But tzarich sheyechaven, and a person needs to have a kavana, have in mind that when you eat Shabbat is le'oneg Shabbat, is for pleasuring Shabbat itself, not pleasuring your stomach. That is a mitzvah as well, which is le'kayem mitzvato itbarach, or ve'karata le'shabbat, oneg, and you call Shabbat oneg, pleasure. That even something that is good for your mouth, that you enjoy on Shabbat, that becomes mitzvah as well. And therefore, a person needs to be very careful in Kvot Shabbat, in Onik Shabbat, not to mix uh, daily things on Shabbat, talk about different businesses on Shabbat. And Vezeikar Gadol, and that's a great principle. Vekacha Yaase Tadir Bechol Shabbat, and that's what you should do on every Shabbat. Vizgula Litrachek, and it's a good amen or a good. Uh, how should I say it? It's, it's a good ammunition to win the battle of the Yetzer Ara by keeping Shabbat appropriately, by focusing your actions, your thoughts on the holiness of Shabbat. And this will bring you closer to Kedusha. Now you might understand why a Baal Tshuva, sometimes all person, will tell you, listen, I don't have a problem uh, not eating kosher. That I can do. 
I don't have a problem, uh, all yanim of arayot, all instance, and all kind of like uh, sexual relations. I, I can do that. But Shabbat, man, Shabbat, that kills me. There's so many rules, there's so many this, there's so many this. and this, this, this. Why it's so difficult on Shabbat? I mean, if you tell the person, listen, it's good, relax on Shabbat. Take it easy, wake up later, you eat. No, I want to go to the mall, I need to do this, Shabbat, 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 Shabbat. Why is that? Because if you're able to keep Shabbat appropriately, the sitra achara, the evil inclination, the impurity in the world, does not have a grab on you. Does not, cannot. If you, if the sitracha will able as much as as much as if you keep Shabbat, you keep the whole entire Torah. So is if you desecrate Shabbat and violate it, like you violated the whole entire Torah. So what's better business for the for the impurity, for the evil side that exists in each and every one of us? To grab the main thing, Mimele, everything goes together with it. That's why people have a problem with Shabbat. Not because they have a problem with the concept of relax and chill out and, and so on and so on. They have a problem with Shabbat because Ikara Emuna, the essence of belief, practicing, and Shmirata Mitzvot, they keep the Mitzvot in Shabbat. So therefore, we should be very careful with Shabbat. Ubezrat Hashem, we should all merit. Olam, a world, Shekulo Shabbat. It's going to be an eternal Shabbat to all of us. Amen. Amen. Amen.